everybody, welcome back. It's Theodore here and today we will be watching my vlog that I went to Europe uh, like two, three weeks ago. Went to three countries. We went to France, Belgium, and England. Uh, we did a day trip to England. We mainly toured around London area um, to see like Big Ben and the Buckingham Palace and the London Eye and Chinatown and whatnot. Um, but then we stayed two days in Belgium and then three days in France. In Belgium, we met up with family, my mom's uncle, and then in France, we met up with my mom's cousins, which is so cool because I don't think they've ever met each other since they were little. So yeah, it's been a long, long time. I brought four cameras with me. I brought the camera that I'm currently vlogging on right now, the Canon V10, which is a you know, it's kind of like, it's kind of like the Canon Vixia Mini X, but more advanced because you can do landscape mode and then you can do like a vertical mode. The other cameras that I took was the Leica Soulfort and I took this paper shoot camera with me, which was gifted to me by my friend for my birthday. So I definitely took this to Europe. And then I took a film camera with me and I believe that was the Olympus mini something that I have not even finished taking photos on yet because there's still film in there. So yeah, I still gotta work on that one. Let's talk about the Leica Soulfort. I was really anticipating that camera because Guys, I've been wanting a Leica so for, for the longest time, but honestly, like, I really wish Leica would have just made a completely new Leica so for, but not digitalize it and just use, like, a normal analog lens. Because I do feel that with instant film cameras, analog lens are the best. Um, with these digital lenses, it's always pixelated, it's always blurry, and I don't know, I don't even care for any of the, whatchamacallit, filters. I really don't care for those, and so with that, like, I mean, if you're a person that enjoys these filters, this is the camera for you because you can change it to black and white and I don't know, not for me. I really, really, really enjoy the analog photos better. Um, one thing that I did notice from the Leica Soulfort 1 that I had before, their chargers are extremely similar to the Fujifilm SQ10 chargers. And the SQ10 is the one that is a digital SQ square format digital camera. Um, and those chargers are super similar, like probably the exact same. And so I've come to the conclusion of they are made by Fujifilm. The Leica Soulfort 1 and 2, like the Fujifilm SQ10, SQ20, what, whatever, whatnot, are made from Fujifilm because they're the same chargers, the exact same. So basically, it's the Leica casing, but internally, it's Fujifilm. So what I bought was a Fujifilm camera, although I really can't complain much because Leica, like a normal, like a real, real Leica camera with the real mechanism and everything is easily five grand, but I bought this Leica camera for $450, so that's not even a portion of the price, you know, like it's like a very small part of it. Maybe just like the tax. This camera is really beautiful. It's super glossy to the point where you can see your freaking fingerprints on it. I kid you not. I I spent every second sitting on the train, sitting on the metro, sitting on the bus, whatever in Europe, wiping this camera, okay? Because I see fingerprints on it. For me holding food and then holding this camera and then rain and then holding this camera and it's just like it's all over this camera so this camera gets dirty very easily so that's just one thing you have to watch for one thing i do like about this camera is that i was able to take so many photos and it's just saving it onto the sd card without me having to worry about wasting film and hauling around film when you are traveling like that it's just it really helps your back. 
I'm talking about back pain and stuff like that as if I'm 30. You know, like, what? I'm not even 30. It's really helpful when you're traveling and you don't have to haul around so much stuff. So that's what one thing I really appreciate about this digital Leica so far. I print out the photo and it looks pixelated, overexposed, tried it with a filter, still looks pretty bad, and also pixelated, and yeah, so maybe it's a learning curve who knows i actually really enjoyed this paper shoot more than i had expected because i had really no expectations for this camera i barely used this camera so there wasn't very many photos from this camera because i was just afraid these photos would turn out really bad so like i don't want to waste time on a camera that you know the photos don't look that great but actually a lot of my really cool um, photos that are now my background photos on my phone is from this camera so yeah I really like this camera a lot the v10 I love this v10 it could use some image stabilization I like it because you can prop it anywhere and it'll just stay put in one place and also it charges with a USB-C so I'm actually charging it right now as I'm recording this so it makes it really convenient but anyways that's all from me chitter chatting and I will see you uh, in the video. Let's go! So on my trip, I will be taking this Amazon Basics bag. Um, this is really ugly by the way, but you know, this is the night before we leave. Um, yeah, so this will be okay for now i just don't want to lose my lens cap anyways it's a beautiful camera though so we'll be taking the leica my vlogging camera this is the canon powershot v10 i also vlogged with it a few times um and i do have vlogs of that i just haven't edited it yet i actually have film in here from who knows when and i need to use it so i'm gonna take this one with me and there's already a battery in here it turns on has a flash Perfect. I'll be taking this bag. Um, to the train station and take a train to go to Belgium. We are at the Gare de Noir train station waiting for our train to go to Brussels and it's like 23 degrees Fahrenheit here so it's really 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 cold. It's colder than Utah. Utah I believe is like 30-40 degrees. Here it's 23 so cold and it's about 10 a.m. Our train doesn't leave until 1 p.m. So we have a long ways to go and so we have some time to kill. We probably want to go out and see around Paris first before we leave to Belgium, but this is what the train station looks like. What? And we made it onto the train and we put <coughs> all of the suitcases up there. Okay, we got to Brussels and now we're going to the hotel. That was a thong. It's a small. Oh, nice. Wow. So, after 12 hours, we are here in Belgium. Um, I don't know how to turn on the light. This is, for us, this is a, a queen bed. No, a twin bed. Look at how they park. Thank 
come around because I think that's the cool stuff to see. Wow. It's a um, big Ferris wheel. The gun. It's really sweet. Uh, Those are pique and there's uh, many many flavors. What is this one? All uh, of them. I don't remember. Uh -huh, you don't oh, remember? Candy, cactus. Oh wow. Okay. Cheers. Apple. Oh, it tastes like apple. Yeah. Cactus? Whoa. This one's strong. Yeah? My mom likes the strong ones. I oh, see. Wow. Ink for you? Stop. I cannot. Oh my god, I'm gonna die. I'm gonna die. So, welcome in Belgium. Welcome to Belgium. Is the stock exchange? city until Yen insisted that we should go here. I've never heard of it, but apparently there's a movie about it called When in Bruges.
Oh. It's so shiny. It's reflecting my face. Walking around the Christmas tree. Are you excited to ride on a boat? This is what you wanted. She's so excited. <laughs> we are going on the boat. going to the UK border now. This Euro saw service to London St. Pancras International is now are in <laughs> the train. The train Euro is on the train now and we're going to head to London. Now we're trying to get out. There is a lot of people. I didn't even sleep the whole ride and it's actually my birthday today. Okay, now we're gonna have to drop off these luggages at the, I think it's called left, leave left luggages at this train station. And then tonight we'll come back and pick it up. Like you knew? Yeah, I told you that. That's not it. I thought we were going to Chinatown. <laughs> this is Big Ben. And it looks amazing in real life. Like, not just, you know, a clock. It's like really intricate. There's a lot of details to this building. Oh, London Eye! We made it to the Chinatown of London and we're gonna come in here and eat Peking Duck! Okay, thank you so much. Mm -hmm. Okay. We got I've got, got chili sauce and chili oil. Oh, for thank you. you. Oh, thank you. Just to let you know, chili sauce is vegan. Okay. Our chili oil contains shellfish. Oh, thank you. That's okay. Thank you. Yeah. Mm. 
Phải ăn nhiều chỗ Ăn đi, ăn đi Cái, cái sốt này ngon Nó có mùi ở Mùi gì á It has like a shrimp Yeah This is um, Cái này là Aromatic crispy duck Đây 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 Mới được It's a huge great day. We are headed to go eat some hot pot or dessert? Dessert? <laughs> We're gonna go eat hot pot. <laughs> Now we're taking the Eurostar. Oh, 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 oh. It's slippery, dude. Dude. That's scary. It's so slippery. I'm a I'm a home yung cái này tổ khác mà. What do you mean? Okay, I'm holding it for you. 